Hello and welcome to Earth's Mightiest Bastards. I'm Mark Storrs and with me as always is... Chris. Hobo Gandalf. <laughs> the best disc that I've received in years. That's a, that, that's a call it. out to our uh, our ginger video. Um, it was Ozzy Laza, I believe. G I believe literally, so. Literally you nailed it, Ozzy. Just left the comment and we read it together and we it laughed. And laughed was... the balls off. Balls are on the floor. Hobo that's spot Gandalf. on. I am a hobo. And sort of and you the look gray. Like Gandalf. There you yeah. go. She the gray. Yep. This week we're checking well done, out uh, the teaser trailer for Smallfoot. Um, let's see what we got for Smallfoot. Is that Everest? It's so big. The world is a mysterious place. There are marvels of nature just waiting to be discovered by those who are daring enough to look. Is it chain tater tots? Marvels like the creature I had only heard existed in legend. A mythical monster straight out of your worst nightmares with wild eyes and a hideous face and feet that were amazingly, freakishly small! <laughs> Terrifying creature with perfect white teeth and breath that just smells all minty fresh. And the only hair it has on its entire body is on the top of its head. <laughs> You're scaring him. Hey, don't be scared. It's look, it's just a story. Everyone knows that the small foot isn't real. Or is it? <laughs> Oh, that's nice, real nice. <laughs> Way to scar him for life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she, she. Awesome. I, I don't give. All right. I don't give it two. I love a yeti, dude. I'm way in. That's awesome. Obviously, you know, abominable snowman, big feet, the whole. Nine I yards. thought for some reason, like I knew it was good, like about Bigfoot, but I mm -hmm. thought it was gonna be about like. A Bigfoot with small feet. Yeah. I thought, yeah, no, me, me I thought it would be yeah. like an ugly duck yeah. story about right. how, That's what hey, I thought too. size doesn't matter, but yeah. as long yeah. as you can it walk. Yeah, be some big moral. Yeah. yeah. No, it. now it's like, the, like, the, like, the, like the flip side because the Yetis, their Bigfoot is small foot. Yeah. Uh, that's perfect. I that's didn't great. see it coming, and good job yeah. for uh, I'm super excited. Tata, this is great. Say. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, this is something I will see because, A, support your local Yeti. Period. Yeah. Clearly. Now, B, now, I love animated films. Love as uh, some of you may not know this, but Rob is a cryptozoologist. So, Rob, tell us the difference between um, a Yeti and a Bigfoot. It's a very obvious one. First is the Yetis live in Nepal, Tibet, and in the Himalayan regions, also in the low-lying valleys. Bigfoot is a phenomenon that's like almost exclusive to the American Pacific Northwest and North America going up into Vancouver. Um Misnomer, Yetis aren't actually white-haired. They have yellowish, reddish, and sometimes black hair. Okay. So the white hair is something that's been with us since the Bumble and Rudolph, and that's fine. Right. But basically, they're just regional uh, versions of the same yeah. super large hairy hominid. Just an right. ape-like humanoid that walks on two feet. So it's like you got hair in the Hendersons, and then you got like a wampa. Basically. Well, that thing looked more like a wampa because they actually had horns. Yeah. Yeti are not supposed to have horns traditionally, really? so that okay. is just yeah. a respect a s fictional spin. Cool, but yeah, it's a fascinating phenomenon. I think that there are definitely unknown hominids, like subhumanoid species, living in the world, South America and Africa, and probably uh, certainly the Orn Pendek in Sumatra, right. and and I think there's probably some big ones like the Almasti in, in Russia and in right. Mongolia. So. Cool. I think it's based on real stuff, and regardless of whether or not this is holy fiction or not, this looks like it'll be a really fun movie. There was your cryptozoology lesson yeah, from yeah. Hobo Gandalf, Hobo and Gandalf. this looks yeah. super fun. With some this is something that me and my kids info. my yeah. kids are going to go see this with me, and this is going to be hilarious. Yeah, I'm taking my niece and nephew. They're yeah, young adults. It's I don't fun. care. And, uh, you know, there's something about movies like this, like uh, Boss Baby is now on Netflix, and we just watch it constantly. I've watched it so many times. It's fun. I love it. It's great. It's just great. I've loved Pixar style animation since the first Toy Story. First time I saw Toy yeah, Story, no, I was blown away. I yeah. couldn't believe uh, this it. This isn't Pixar, real. though, right? This no, is, no, this, this is, is Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers Anime. Yeah. It's what, yeah, WAG. WAG or some WAG. Yeah. Warner, Warner Animation Group. group. Yeah. Okay. But general animation and Warner, like this. It, Warner's got yeah, a great yeah, tradition yeah. of animation going back to obviously Looney Tunes and yeah, Mary totally. Melodies and Bugs Bunny and all that. So, uh, you know. All of these companies are basically, and Pixar might have started it. Right. And weren't they started by Steve Jobs, actually, way back in the day? Pixar was. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So another great innovator or not innovation from that innovator. But now most of the studios, like um, what's the one with Spielberg, uh, Katzenberg, DreamWorks? DreamWorks, yeah. Yeah, they did great work. So a lot of these uh, bigger studios are doing excellent uh, computer animation. And yeah. I'm just excited to see where it goes from here. Yeah, no, I'm stoked on this. Uh, I'm pretty excited to bring my kids to it. So. Can we see more trailers? Any thoughts, Chris? No, it looks pretty cool. I mean, generally, I don't go to see those things. Right. Yeah, I'm just me. I know yeah. it does, yeah. I'm the guy that does it. I know, it's, it stinks. But, you know, now that I have a niece and nephew, I mean, you're, you're a parent. Chris and I are uncles. But now my nephew's 20 and right. my niece is 18. So I don't get to trick or treat anymore. No, I, I, you're missing all you the kids. You can't reasonably stuff. go. Yeah. No, I can just take your kids. You oh, know, that's true. Whatever. That's true. Yeah. I'll just go with you guys. Yeah. Look like yeah. an honorary yeah. uncle. But I still love seeing animated yeah. films. I yeah. love this stuff no. to pieces. So. I mean, Ooh. as a dad, I watch them with my kids because I know they're going to enjoy it. But then I end up enjoying it. Like I'll watch like Despicable Me. Oh, it's in, a great in the Minions Every by one myself of those movies without is my phenomenal. kids around. Yeah. Like, I love and the first cartoons are not what they were. Like no, yeah, no, they don't. Fifties or they don't. You know what I mean? It's they're different. Yeah. Aim for kids anymore. Yeah, totally. You know, in the 40s, they were kind of sophisticated because the whole family went to a theater to watch a Tom, you know, a movie and then a Tom and Jerry short or a Bugs Bunny short would be in the beginning. Right. So it'd be stuff for kids, but also stuff for adults. Yeah. But then somewhere in the 60s and 70s, it became like peplum for just small children and it became unendurable. Yeah. Yeah. Then somewhere in the like 90s, it started becoming like the, what it used to be, where yeah. kids can enjoy it on their own level. But you can watch a SpongeBob now and enjoy it on a whole other level. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to go sideways for a second. I know we don't need to go tangential. I finally saw Rick and Morty. Holy shit, that is brilliant. Yeah, there you that go. That is the good best too. thing I've seen in years. There it is. With Rick and Morty. Note, not for kids. It is excellent. Yeah. There it is. Thank Sweet you for word. joining us for this week's episode of the Earth's Mightiest Bastards. Be sure to find us online at ambipod.com, facebook.com, slash ambipod, Twitter at ambipod. Leave us your comments in the section. Let us know what you thought about this teaser trailer. If you liked what you saw, upload the video. If you have not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And we're talking to you soon. Hey. Yeah, he's for life. Hobo Gandalf. Dude. That might be I the mean, best. I mean, that is the most spot on statement. That might be made. the best comment ever, actually. I, I just need my wizard bindle. And <laughs> so I'm going to hit the rails, man. That's it. <laughs> uh, we're talking to you soon.